Does anybody know who that is? No way. No. Mm -mm. Joe, work on it. Mm -hmm. Because it's somebody that Joe knows. Uh, well, it may be, but nothing's coming. It's someone in your family. But still she didn't get it. It's your daughter. Now can you see it? Is it clear now? It is believable now. We were baffled that a condition so extreme it could keep people from recognizing their own children could have been almost completely unknown until very recently. We asked Dr. Oliver Sacks, the famous chronicler of fascinating and bizarre neurological conditions, who wrote about face blindness in his latest book, The Mind's Eye. It is with our faces that we face the world. He, too, is face blind. I have had difficulty recognizing faces for as long as I can remember. My problem extends not only to my nearest and dearest, but also to myself. I've sometimes had the experience of apologizing to someone and realizing it's a mirror. Um, no. I have no. indeed. Because you didn't know it was you? I could see that it was a, a, a large, clumsy man with a beard. Now, I've now found a way of dealing with this. I have one special feature. I have rather large ears. <laughs> and um, if the large, clumsy man with a beard has extra large ears, it's probably me. I shouldn't be smiling. But it's funny. Oh, well, well it is. I mean, these things are, are both, both comic and serious. And surprisingly common. Recent studies show as many as one in 50 people may be face blind. 